Hey guys, so I was thinking about some more of these questions I could answer. Some of them are for homeowners, but this one will be for technicians. Uh, new technicians mainly. And the question is, what is superheat? Everybody says, check superheat. We've got to find out what a superheat is and we need to target superheat. But what is it? You know, people can go through their whole career and measure superheat and get target superheat and never know exactly what it is. Well, superheat is not specific to air conditioning. A lot of things can be superheated. Um, if you have water vapor that's superheated, that would be steam. It's something that when the refrigerant goes to the evaporator coil, it hits a piston, a capillary tube, a TXV, or an electron exp expansion valve. All of them drop the pressure of that refrigerant. That immediate drop in pressure means that on the other side of the TXV, you have a gas and liquid mixture. Same thing, like you heard of a mini split has a saturated vapor line. Well, it's a vapor line that has liquid refrigerant in it as well. As the mixture travels to the evaporator coil, the remainder of it evaporates. That's why they call it the evaporator, aptly named evaporator. As the refrigerant goes to the evaporator coil, air is blowing across the coil, or it should be. The blower's not busted, and the filter's not plugged, and the coil's not frozen. The refrigerant starts to warm. As it warms, all of it becomes gas, and at the point it all becomes gas, all the heat it takes on after that point is the superheat. Let's say we have a refrigerant entering the or exiting the evaporator coil and let's say it's R22, let's say it's exiting at like 70 psi which puts it in the neighborhood 35 40 degrees right in there. 35 40 degrees is the saturation temperature. After the refrigerant evaporates, it takes on heat. You measure the suction line at the condenser, let's say it's measuring 60 degrees, and your saturation temperature, pressure temperature charts where you find that, was, let's say it was 40, and it's coming back 60. So that would mean we have a 20 degree superheat. The refrigerant evaporates and becomes superheated. Once it comes back to the condenser, it goes to the compressor, the compressor compresses it, and it is also superheated, it's just a lot more pressure and a lot hotter coming out. So that's a little brief description of superheat. We'll do subcooling soon, I don't know when. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.